What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Drop the Hits, and I'm back with another episode of 60 Days In, Season 6. I believe this is episode 15. I think there are two episodes left. It'll be the last one, will be the finale, will be this Thursday night, and then the reunion is next week, which I know we are all excited for. But before we get into the video, peep this shit out. Peep this out. Don't think about that. Huh? Don't know about that. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna slap around a Kaika. I think that's his name. If I said it wrong, I probably did. Oh well. But yeah. Custom shirts. I am selling merchandise now, and you can find the link below in the description. Let me remind you guys I do live stream on Twitch. Please give me a follow over there. As well as follow my social medias. I do have a Twitter and Instagram. Now with all that out of the way, let's drop right into it. Incident happened what? with Betsy. It's been kind of weird, you know, not knowing uh, where Betsy's head was at or, or what she'd be thinking about me. I it? was concerned what might transpire. Look, you can tell she upset. Come on, man. I wasn't sure, you know, if <sighs> Betsy was going to be mad if she. You know, after thinking about yeah. things, she shirt, was going to think I'm part of the show again, and she was going to go around telling people. She what? has a very good pulse in the whole unit. The whole unit loves her. Oh, shit. She, she could turn the whole unit against me in a heartbeat if she wanted to. How does that make you feel? That's, that's, that's nerve-wracking. Maybe you should have just kissed her. I mean, get it over with. You like girls anyway. What difference does it make? No, you're lonely. Betsy was called out uh, to get released. Good for her, but sad. Let's <laughs> roll, stay in jail. You better come out. When I realized that Betsy was being called to go roll up, you know, a few different emotions went through me. I was excited for her, uh, first and foremost, because I know this is what she wanted, and this will better her life. Well, everybody but wants to go home. Getting close with Betsy was my greatest opportunity to get <clears throat> the type of information that I, I was wanting in the jail. What information? So, with Betsy leaving, I'm going to be losing a major player in my investigation. Was... I felt like I was going to have to start at ground zero, and I knew I had to step it up because I don't have a lot of time left. This one particular guy, CO Jamichael, as an inmate, like, he's he's my freaking worst enemy. I come to jail every day. You know, I'm not scared of nobody, but at the end of the day... Calm down, I big do papa. Home the same way I can, oh, walrus looking at. So, you gotta respect that. Robin Harris. <laughs> what? Always looking out the one to see what's going on. And um, multiple times, Jamichael sleep. <laughs> I mean, he, he snores. He snores. He snores. And he snores and everything. Jamichael, I'm coming for you, bro. <laughs> Yo, you about to fall out the chair, man. <laughs> Wait. This this is like way more than I want to get involved in. She tapping out. Just listen to that stuff. Wait, Don't do it. Come on, you only got like maybe I feel a week like I'm left. More than I need to know. Can you explain that a little further for me? It, Angel and Angela are talking about crimes committed on the streets. Oh. Me listening to that, feel it, it puts me in more danger if I stay in that room. They are talking about actual businesses, like the, the business that they're doing on the streets, which is criminal business. 
I don't want to know about that stuff because later on, I don't want to be at home and somebody's knocking on my door about this stuff. Why would they feel, be doing that, though? Why would it, they come to you? After I leave here, it won't be hard to find me. I don't want anybody coming after me. It's like, I'm just I mean, trying I, to make it. But I, I, get mean, it. I feel like I'm in too deep being in that cell. I think she's being oh, uh, what is it, dramatic about it. Over dramatic. Honestly. I get why you want to tap out. So it sounds like you're saying anybody you coming to your house, man, or wherever you live, apartment, I'm ready to go home. condo, I don't know. What's your situation? What you shared with me? I guess my question for you is, what do you want to do? It's just in my mind, this is something I never thought I would do anyway. So to even do it and be here and be this part, you should have wrote a letter to Tony, I can't man. Give up. I can't go back. I can't leave right now. That's not who I am. I'm gonna reassure At this you. point, I mean, I just feel like it is what it is. It, I can, I feel like I can finish. All right, there we go. Okay. If in the next day or so I feel like I can't, I give the signal and I just need to go. Be all right. Hang in there, okay? You're right. Made it this far. You'll be good. I know I got, you know, a task to complete. No, that's what we call must mouth. So I already knew today was going to be a day of waking up and that Miss Richardson was the seal that was on duty. Her nickname in the unit is Screaming Demon, uh, must and mouth. it started right from the beginning of her shift. Whoa! She stays screaming. Miss Richardson, she's really young. I don't think too many people like her. Everybody that's over there is on those lockdowns, man. There's not enough faith. Richardson, we never get along, and uh, she harasses me. She has uh, kind of like a bad, you know, like a bad girl attitude and screams a lot. If you don't stop being on that door. Her mannerisms are very arrogant, um, condescending even, you know, flipping her hair kind of rolling her eyes at you. They gave her a badge, and it went straight to her head. Oh, another Miss Williams? You know, I'm surprised nobody has whipped her ass. I just want to know why you said, Miss Richardson pops Ashley's cell door to come down to get her meds. And it's on. She comes down like a bat out of hell. Put it right in the damn face. Damn. Throwing garbage, trays, juice, just kind of going crazy, uh, as she said she was going to. I can't tell you ran away into the room. I don't need to finish cutting your hair. It looks like the haircut I had when I was like in fourth grade, y'all. <laughs> what? This incident completely was provoked and instigated by Mr. Richardson. It, it could have been 100% prevented. <clears throat> copy of the day before but Ashley is even more amped up listen man
Oh, you running now? Oh, I thought she was running to herself. She goes even more crazy, throwing anything she can get her hands on. It's <laughs> right She's scared though. You're gonna hit her with the base. Hit her with the pepper spray. Mm. If somebody like Caswell has been sprayed like several times, eventually that spray is not gonna do anything. The side member did absolutely nothing to help. You needed to react, but he didn't react. All the goon squad and the paintball janks. Saad comes in. It's deja vu to the day before, and it was predictable. You knew it was going to happen. All she had to do was go back to her cell, man. What's up? I swear it's the made you stupid, man. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, exactly. Man, I ain't taking nobody's side, man, but come on, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Go back to your room. Go back to yourself. Who cares? I'm not scared. And then, not even like 10 minutes after that, Miss Richardson has to serve dinner to her, having to open her door again. I well, knew that it great. wasn't over. I can tell you right now, she was plotting revenge. I guess they don't. The cell doors pop and it's on. Stop, stop, stop. Mm. Yeah, Seal got her own goon squad and they mates. The trustees went in and they had the jug of juice and they had some cleaner. And uh, they went in Caswell's cell and actually dumped the juice on her bed, soaking all of her stuff in juice and then threw bleach at her. That's messed up. Just looking at some of the inmates who were out, who were looking over the incident, their faces were shocked. You could tell they were shocked. This is just, this is bad. This is so bad. She is mad. Oh, she gonna get fired behind that. As bad as yesterday was, today's 10 times worse. And I didn't think it could get worse. She was just kind of put back in her cell with all the juice-soaked mattress and, and sheets and her clothes, and she was just left there to sit. The whole situation was horrible. Miss Richardson shouldn't have been left alone with her just after dealing with her one time. So I could have prevented that whole situation. These CEOs don't know they what the hell they doing, man. The trade to her. They're straight up, man. The most disturbing thing was uh, just thinking about Caswell, how fearful she must be to know that she can't, she can't even sleep in her bunk at night. Someone well, might pop the door and let people come she in would and just shut up. How scary is that? You stop trying to start fights? No one deserves that. I mean, damn, I don't want more throwing shit at me. I'm gonna retaliate. I don't feel bad for her. Tony's been testing Jamichael. Uh, just little bits of time, little bits of time. <laughs> Damn. It just went 
went from just a little playful to get a little more serious. I'm looking hey, at you got like, in your feelings, right, cool. Tony. It's all right. Yourself. pushing the buttons, and uh, I did not know what was going to happen at that point. Along the lines of, I never seen you here in Gaston and They're this calling and you out. He's trying to say, like, oh, you 60 days in. That's completely out of line for an officer to say something like that or even hint that because the inmates look at it like, oh, he a CO, so he got the inside scoop. He knows something that we don't know. So, yeah, let's move on him now. They ain't gonna move in on you. Stop it. Stop it. Now it's personal, so how you wanna play it? I'm gonna bring it to you. trying to say like oh you 60 days in that's completely out of line for an officer to say so now i'm about to slaughter him now i'm about to i'm about to you know i'm about to come at him harder now Lock you up, man. Keep talking that. He's not backing down. Tony calls a disturbance uh, to Jamichael to see kind of what kind of reaction he was going to get out of Jamichael. Guys are calling, screaming, blah, blah, blah. And they go back and forth, go back and forth. Um, the inmates are definitely observing, watching what's going on, seeing how yeah. it's going to go. I think Tony pushed Jamichael to his breaking point. And I'm thinking Tony just got in serious trouble. He's called the boys on you. Suspended or fired? Oh my gosh, you see what has happened? We don't know if she was asked to or she's quitting. Richardson was let go. Oh. Everyone in the unit was ecstatic. It is a good thing for Etowah County that she's no longer employed here. Yeah, what the hell is going on? <laughs> they fired me because they said I did a wrong Don't cry now. But I was doing what my sergeant asked me to tell me to do. I mean, I had no choice. I was doing what my chain of command told me to do. The whole situation is jumper. Come on, man. They didn't ask you to do that. I'm just fine. That fire, you're done. so high. 
you sound like me when I'm trying to do karaoke. Huh? This guy told my my celly at the one who's like, hey, they coming to your cell. I had a shank, so I grabbed the shank, flushed that real quick. I'm like, boom, I can't get caught with that. Next thing you know, the door's been open my side, and I'm, of course, I got that deer headlight like, looks like, what, what's, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? I'll explain to you a second. Turn around. Mm. Just walking out the cell, people looking. So the first thing I'm thinking is, what's really going on? Like, where are you taking me? The hole. He got escorted out by the side guys. They come in and took him off in handcuffs. And I'm thinking, damn, Tony's he's going to be locked down for several days, uh, and I'm going to be alone. Yeah, he's like that. Got him. I'm thinking, like, all right, it's time to tap out. No, don't do that. What? Are you, what? <laughs> don't you do it, man. I don't get afraid of a lot of things, but going to say was the first time I ever been nervous. Just lay like it down. Tony has a lot of stuff in his in the cell, so those guys were trying to get items. Damn. I mean, have it. You can have all my. I'm going on. Ooh. The shakedown's gonna happen tonight. That did give her time to hide, just like stuff that she didn't want them to find. They mean business. It's the real deal. Why they raise the unit like that? I don't know. Why do you think they did? Because they was on that. I got the key to this door right now. Just watch. Oh. Did you just open your <laughs> door? <laughs> We've gotten word from our control room and the inmates think that the production and the participants are police. All four's gotta come out right now. Yep. It's gotta be the last episode next week then. Yeah. They think production is police. Oh damn, we ain't seen that before. Yeah, I think I think next week's gonna be the last episode. I mean I'm pretty sure. Or, but then we got a reunion, so that's something to look forward to. That's what I'm waiting on. Are you Kim for you Chicano? That's all I'm saying. Make a choice. Make a choice. Alright, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. We're almost at hundred K. Still don't know what I'm going to do yet, but it's going to be something really good. I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know yet. I don't know. I hope everybody's being safe out there. Your boy's being safe. I'm not really going anywhere that much. I mean, it's just another day for me. Um, but I hope everybody's being safe. Uh, I love you guys, and I will see you guys on the next video. Maybe the dog could be me. Okay. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> then the dog Wait, took off in it. Look at Look at Stop the call. Look at crazy. What the hell are you doing? Yo, clip it. Clip that. Clip that. I, I love you, boy.